Hey guys, here's my whole Audi family. Today is the first day they're all clean, all together, and all on the correct wheels, meaning the OEM wheels, not ugly winter tires or anything like that. Um, I just hand washed the Q5 and the S3, and yesterday I got the S6 back from a paint correction and a ceramic coating, so it looks way better. Um, this one's got just about 62,000 miles on it. 20,000 is about five miles away from hitting 41,000 miles. Um, and they're also in order of displacement, two liter, three liter, four liter, and cylinder count, four, six, eight. Uh, so there you go. And they're more symmetrical with the Q5 in the middle. Um, they're all in pretty good shape. Um, this one is very jealous of this one because after I got the recirc, um, fixed with the HVAC, some more flat motors decided to die. So I'm pretty sure the only vents that work in this car right now are these. Those came back to life once, but then they don't work anymore. <laughs> so, you know, it, that's it's seven years old almost. It's a German car. I expect little things to happen here and there. That is currently the only thing wrong with any of them. If you can see what I'm wearing in the reflection, please ignore that. That is my disgusting car washing outfit. Um, so I don't wreck any clothes. I already stained a white shirt today already. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, um, paint correction came out awesome with the ceramic coating. There is a light layer of dust on it, so you might see that. But pretty much all the swirl marks are gone. Obviously, it didn't take care of any of the paint chips that are in the hood, if you look really closely. You know, it was a it was somebody's lease for three years. It's not going to come out perfect. But um, it's way better. I would highly recommend it, especially if your car is black. Um, so the S6, mostly looking brand new, super shiny, glossy. It's the OptiCoat Pro Plus. It's got a seven-year warranty on it, so hopefully it'll stay looking really, really nice for a really long time. And I'm really pleased with how it came out. Um, you can kind of get an idea of the finish on it. It's very, very smooth. I don't want to touch it and <laughs> push all the dust around so you can see fingerprints, but... I'll get some kind of high-end duster or something and keep it looking halfway decent. Q5 looks great. I'm thinking about probably doing the same thing to the Q5 because it's going to be the long-termer. This is kind of a little bit ruined being the daily driver with some massive stone chips there. There's a little dent in the fender, but um, anyway, they're all doing pretty well. I already showed you the inside of this one, but mostly clean in here. These are actually so tightly packed together, I can't even get in this one. So I have to move this one first or this one. But um, we'll look in the other side of the S6 and I'll show you, just for the hell of it. This is a nothing video, like completely nothing. I just thought you guys would want to see the car now that they're all together. Absolutely stunning interior. I love this car. Let's give it a cleaner look and close that. There we go. It's got the carbon fiber. Alcantara on the door. See the carbon fiber a little bit better there. Diamond stitch seats, which are absolutely beautiful. Pretty comfortable, too. Out of all three of these cars, these are definitely the best seats. I really like them for comfort and lateral support. So, yeah, I'm really thrilled with how the S6's professional detail came out. And um, I've taken some silly pictures, making my neighbors think I'm completely insane. And I um, just want to let you guys know what's going on. As you can see, nothing too much to report other than the S3's uh, HVAC kind of being on the fritz out of pure jealousy of the S6, no doubt. Um, so there was kind of a nothing video. I hope you guys appreciated it for whatever it's worth. But it took me forever to line these up the way that they are. They're not perfect, but close enough. I didn't crash into any of them in the process, so that was good. Um, make some more videos in the future. The Beetle is still in the garage. Don't worry about that. You'll see that eventually. I'm trying to get a trailer for it so I can tow it around with the uh, Q5, which is why I have it. So, uh, yeah, that's how things are going in my life. Nothing too, too exciting to report. Um, just very happy that all the cars are back together, looking good. And stay tuned for more stuff in the future. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.